You're welcome to my channel. I'm Kossim. In this video, I will discuss with you three most important things that will improve your chances for job after graduation. Stay with me. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. You know, before now, I've worked with an educational consultancy firm, educational and job consultancy firm, where I interact with students, I mean undergraduate students and students who are trying to seek admission into our institution of learning, and also job seeker, I mean graduates who are seeking for jobs. So if I'm in front of you talking here, I really know what I'm talking about. It's not as if uh, probably I'm trying to like pull out what I've read somewhere. A lot of graduates out there think their certificate and grades is all they need when applying for job. But the employer that will employ you will not think the same way. In this very video, I will highlight for you those things that you need, which has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with your degree or the certificate you have from school, and which is very, very important when applying and during the time you have even been offered the job. But one thing, so improve your soft skill. So, you know, when applying for a job, there are full skills, you know, that hard skill and soft skill. So hard skill is that skill that you've gotten from your normal school. I mean, university, uh, college of education, polytechnic, I mean, just your former education. So maybe you are an educationist, you are a doctor, you are a geologist, you are a scientist and the likes. But soft skill is quite different. This is just a skill that we allow or that determine how you interact with other people. So which includes the critical thinking, negotiation, you know, effective communication and the likes. And this skills is very, very important when applying for a job. In most cases, when I'm doing CV or making CV for people, I'll ask them that what is your interpersonal skills like? Because interpersonal skills is the same thing as our soft skills. They'll be like, what do you mean? I can't understand. I'll be like, well, you are a graduate. So I, with that, I discovered that a lot of graduates out there don't know how important is soft skill when applying for jobs. So if you invest in your soft skills, you can stand or improve your chance of getting job or stand out with a lot of people trying to compete with the same job you are competing for out there. So how do you invest in your soft skills? You can invest in your soft skills by reading related books to the soft skills I mentioned and some that I did not mention. Number two, develop a good safe advocacy. You know, Self advocacy is just a kind of way that you speak of your, for yourself effectively. In uh, every job application, there is this thing that you have to meet your employer one on one. So if you cannot speak up for yourself, there is no way you can convince your employer that you are capable of that tax or job that they want to give to you. So if you have this self, good self advocacy, you can stand a chance, or let me say you can have a better chance of getting a job with your good grade. Number three most important thing, you must be computer literate. You know, for most of the job out there, computer, you are expected to have computer knowledge. If I'm talking about computer knowledge, I'm not talking, I'm not talking about the fact that you are able to operate computer to watch film and the likes. I'm talking about you having this basic knowledge of some computer application like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, video conferencing, social media management and the likes. So if you have this computer knowledge and you show it during the time you're applying for a job, and you have this code grade and you stand a chance of having that job. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on, turn on the notification bell so as you receive notification whenever I upload a new video. And also don't forget to share and like this video.